this uh, cold water supply introduction, a supply of pure and wholesome potable water is essential to a healthy life. That means water is life, and where there is no water, there is no life. This model examines the basic aspects of the water supply and the layout principle of both storage and non-storage system, water system. There are two types of water supply system which are used in our country on the world as a whole. That is direct system, first one. Second one is indirect system. The water authority, which is WASAC in Rwanda, is capable to run a water main from the storage reservoirs to supply the horse some water to most promises, except those in the very isolated areas, that is the Amanejeka. New water main connection. We are now going down to where we get this water supply to your house or to your building, getting that water from Wasak. New water main connection. First of all, water mains are big pipe in size laid along the main road by Wasak in order to facilitate the supply of potable water to different individual promises by tapping and screwing a fitting called a ferro on the main pipe. I'm here assuming that this is water main, this black pipe. This is a saddle and this is a ferro. This is the ferro we are talking about which is being tapped on the main or screwed on the main. This is the tap. This ferro here, when you are getting a new connection to your house, that's what they tap on the water main. They give you a branch going to your house. This branch here, this is where we connect a pipe called a communication pipe. That pipe, the first pipe to this ferro is called communication pipe. It goes up to the water meter position. When you reach the water meter position, beyond that meter, that's where the owner of the house starts his own work. The Wasaki people, the water main is for Wasak, the ferro is for Wasak, a communication pipe is Wasak. There is also a boundary stop valve, also belong to Wasak. Wasak stopped at the meter. The meter is here. This is the meter. It stopped at the, at the meter. From the meter, we start another name. The pipe coming from the meter going ahead is called service pipe. It goes directly. If you have got what you call that direct system or indirect system, then a fresh connection communication pipe serving in the house, a boundary stop cock or stop valve, and the water meter fitted also on this communication pipe. All of those belong to a sack. That's where our sack stops. The main pipe, a ferro communication pipe, stop valve and water meter belongs to water authority, WASAC, and the maintenance is done by water authority. Now, this is the connection here. You can see the main. Where you connect your ferro, then you connect your communication pipe, going towards the service pipe. Where that water meter stops, that's where our sack stops. Then from the water meter, the owner of the house continues with service pipe up to the storage tank. 
That is when the system we have used is indirect system. When it is direct system, this water goes direct up to all appliances in the house. But when it comes to indirect system, whereby you have got a storage tank storing your water, then you connect your service pipe to the tank. To the tank, there is a valve controlling the flow into the tank. This is a stopcock. Then there is another valve called the bore valve is controlling the flow of water inside the tank. That is indirect. When it comes down, to come down, it comes by gravity. You, communic you connect another pipe called the distribution pipe. That distribution pipe is the one supplying all appliances except one only, except one only. There is only one permitted, one permitted draw point for drinking purposes. You get that branch from the rising main or service pipe, you take it to the kitchen. That's where you get water for drinking. You don't get water for drinking from the basin or in the elsewhere. That's where you get that water. Then you continue. When you reach that end, suppose now it is indirect and you want to connect a water heater. Because hot and cold, they go together. They go parallel. In that tank there, you can either put there a big tank, a combination of storage and a feed system. A feed system is a small tank, probably 112 liters, whereby it will serve water heater only. If you have combined the tank is big, that tank will have two connections. One, one distribution pipe supplying appliances, then plus another feed pipe feeding the water heater. That's how it does. When we come to direct system, because every, every cold water supply pipe are connected directly, are connected directly. So there is no need of storage tank. Only you have, what you have is that feed system supplying that hot water. That's the purpose of it. So when you make a second connection from there, it comes, it goes along with cold water. They go in the same channel. When you reach the taps, the taps, that tap is called mixer tap, pillar tap, mixer tap. They mix together in the tap. There is a valve inside in that tap. So that's where they meet. Either want hot water or want cold water, or want the mix, the one which is, which is, not, which is warm. You connect from there. So that thing in indirect system now, you have reached the tank is there, you have connected your water, coming to appliances here. These are appliances. I don't know whether your camera can reach there, but those are the pipes coming from the tank, coming to appliances. So this is a diagram again of the tapping machine showing the principles of design operation. That is called under pressure tapping machine. Under pressure tapping machine, I've forgotten it. But that's the one, that's how it looks like. This is the ferrule, which is in pieces, is being shown. The owner of the house starts from that water meter up to the appliances in the house. Here the plumber gives advice 
to the customer of which system can suit his or her house in terms of finance. You must choose for the customer because you may give a system which is very expensive or you may give the one which is less cost. Whereas probably somebody is very well, well off, he wants to buy that one which is expensive. Direct system. All cold draw of points are taken direct from service pipe and the feed system is stored purposely for the hot water system. Here, there is a diagram which shows the design of that direct system, how it works. It shows exactly what I've been explaining, but it's now in the pictures. You can see where it starts, where it ends. In direct system, all draw points are supplied from storage water tank, mounted at high level, and the water comes down by gravity through distribution pipe. I'm now showing the design, the, the, the diagram of how it works. I first explained it verbally, but now I'm showing people the diagram how it works. The only one permitted draw point for drinking water purposes is taken direct from service pipe, fitted on the, in the kitchen sink. The two systems are, are used use in our country, and they have advantages and disadvantages. That's where the plumber comes in to explain to the customer. Advantages to, uh, to direct system. There is no possible contamination of the water supply because water connected directly from Wasak main pipe. Second, it is not expensive. Disadvantages to direct system. If the water main has a problem, you will have no water until the fault is rectified or replaced. Uh, in direct system, advantages. When the water main has a problem, at least you have a reserve water in your storage tank. Disadvantages to indirect, the system is very expensive. Hot water supply, introduction, an efficient and adequate hot water system is essential of a home. The effect, effectiveness of any system will be judged by its ability to produce an ample supply of hot water at any draw point simultaneously. So this is the diagram again for hot water system. This is direct hot water system where we have got a boiler, we have got a cylinder, we have got a feed system, then we have got supply going to hot water system. Then you have got that feed pipe which feed the system, the cylinder, and the boiler. You have got now indirect storage hot water system. There is a feed system with a lid, then there is a feed and the expansion system. This, this expansion system, it is where the water, if it is boiled, it will go back to the reverse and go back to that expansion system. 
This one here, it has got two. Has got a boiler, have got a, a cylinder with exchanger coil. So the first one gets water from a fill system, it comes down to a cylinder, then from there it passes the water to the boiler. From their primary, primary flow, it is taken from the boiler to expansion pipe. Then the vent is continuing up to the feed system. There are two, two. That's why we say that it is indirect. But the other one was direct a cylinder, a boiler, and a feed system. But now here we have got two. The plumber will sometimes be asked to advise again on the choice of the system he or she can afford. The following points are important. Understanding circulation of water supply, hot water supply. Water expands on being heated, increase volume. A volume of cold water is heavier than the same volume of hot water cold, more dense. A volume of cold water, when heated, requires large storage space. That's the expansion system we have been talking about. The circulation of water, the factors that influence circulation of the water are temperature difference of flow and return water, the length of circulation pipe, diameter of circulation pipe, and the deep and or bend circulation pipe. Water circulates or moves when heated or cooled through conversion current. This movement will continue so long as there is a difference of temperature and is increased as the temperature is increased. Heat movement, there are three forms of heat movement, conduction, conversion, and the radiation. Conduction is the movement of heat in a solid. The heat passes from one particle to another without particles themselves moving. Convention, this is the movement of heat which takes place in liquids and gas. The particles themselves actually change places. Radiation, this is a movement of heat in direct rays from the source without heating intervening space. Note, heat travels in direct rays. It can reflect and many behaves similarly to light. I think that's how this model has been prepared. Thank you very much. Thank you.